and welcome to the Crip Shop channel. Today is September 9th, I think. It is a beautiful morning. It feels fantastic out. It's very hot in the car though. I probably should crack a door. Um, so I'm at Michael's right now. I This is my first stop of the day and I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, looking wise, um, I'm going here and then I'm going to check out a spirit Halloween real quick. That is right over here. I can literally see the sign from where I'm at. Um, we're going to check out Michael's. I hear they have a lot more of their Halloween stuff out and it, uh, I, I have a huge love for the Bistole, like the old classic looking Halloween stuff, uh, that my grandparents used to have. However, unfortunately, they got rid of it, not really thinking before they passed away. And that was stuff that I really wanted to get a hold of. Um, so I'm here, hopefully, to get lucky and find some Bistol Halloween theme or Bistol like Halloween decor. Uh, We're going to be doing a witch type of theme in the hallway this year. So I'm hoping to find maybe a good sign to get. I don't know. We're going to go inside and take a look. So come with me. Okay, already I am thoroughly impressed. <laughs> I've only seen an end cap. Um, everything we've got, I'm gonna be umming a lot, I apologize. So this is not necessarily something I'm going to get, and I'm gonna do my best to keep everything. I don't wanna be like, wow, look at the price, and then it'd be down here. So already I'm seeing some really interesting witch stuff and I can see things over there so we're gonna be having some fun and checking that out things like this here are $24.99 I do like that be careful these styrofoam skulls kind of styrofoam-esque these uh what is this it's, it's kind of like a resin hard resin that's $19.99 that's interesting looking looks like a, a jade style and then you have all these little goofy things, a skeleton hanging out in a bathtub, $21.99. These are cool. My mom used to do palm reading for a haunted house that we worked at here in Ohio. And uh, yeah, she uh, gave that up because she started getting things correct and it was freaking her out, so she stopped. Now, yes, I'm very happy. And I've already found something I'm getting. Right here. $19.99. This bistel looking pumpkin guy. This I thoroughly remember. Thoroughly? I <laughs> that's not even. I remember very much very well. Sorry, it's early for me. Um, a larger version of this that my grandparents used to have. It was a little blow mold and it lit up and he had like a little Look up, I'm trying to point there. Like in his back between the overall straps, he had a little plug in that you could light up. I'm going to put him back for now, but I think we're going to be getting him. And I'm thinking about that cauldron because I may put some candy and stuff in a cauldron. I've been looking for those uh, Kit Kat bars that are green, the witch Kit Kat bars. We may get some of those. Oh, I love that. My mom is big into um, nutcrackers. And while these are definitely not your generic nutcrackers, these guys are pretty cool. You have this guy here, a pumpkin soldier, has a little trick or treat bag, a little witch. These up here, we got a few, something like this at Menards. I'm not even pointing at it. See, I'm bad at this. Uh, at Menards. This is $16.99 for this little generic pumpkin looking guy. And there is a little cat man holding a little pumpkin pail. Very Animal Crossing-esque. I love that. Uh, Wicked Witch Inn, come rest for a spell. I, I like that. That is $24.99. And just in case you guys are curious, all Halloween decor is 25% off until the 11th. Hopefully this video is up by then. If not, then, well, I'm sure anybody who shops here already knows. I do love this, this little cat. I think that would go good on the table 
for everything. $24.99 for that little guy as well. It's like Binks. And this little one, he is adorable. $14.99 for him. Has a little beware tag. I'm not sure why they have a beware tag on such a cute little guy. And what is this one? Oh, we have a little Hocus Pocus cat hiding in the back. He is $14.99. He's got a little witch hat with a little bat on it. That's cute. I am very impressed with this year's selection. Guys, I I come here every year for Halloween because they always have a lot of really good Halloween stuff. And I, they always have amazing stuff. But this year, I think they've blown it out of the park. I am so happy. Oh, these are really cool. Oh, unfortunately, he's got a chip in his ear. He's got a chip on his shoulder. They are hollowed out on the head so that you can put candy or decor in there, whatever. He is 50 bucks, non-food safe. Non, oh, that's not English on the bottom. So I'm guessing you could put like wrapped up candy in there, but they I do not recommend putting unwrapped candy in that. That would be nasty. Down here we have some wooden signs. Like I'm already in love with this one here. Old, let me get the, it says Old Salem Brew Company. Broom Company, not brew. You can tell I'm thirsty. And that is $12.99. That's not a bad price for that. That is a very decent sign. And it even has some holes in the back that you can use to hang it up on a wall. Down here we have some ceramic pumpkins or a resin kind of a pumpkin. Home sweet haunted home. Ghouls just want to have fun. And it's a bunch of hocus pocus. You're going to be seeing a lot of this just about everywhere you go. It seems to be the biggest theme. And a witch hat that is also a clock. That looks freaking amazing. I love that. That is $39.99. That would go great in the hallway. We already started doing a bit of theming in the hallway this year. Unfortunately, I'm already changing it up. I bought some Sleepy Hollow stuff, and we're going to move that to a different room. But you have more of these little Beistel-esque. That's going to be used. That word's going to be said a lot, Beistel-esque. Oh, $14.99 for a little, little cute cat on his stomach. And then you have a little pumpkin man in a little suit holding a candy corn. And he is also... $14.99. Guys, I am so happy with this. I'm very impressed. Little books. These are $5.99 and they work as whoa, little containments. A batty collection of Halloween tales and ghost stories. Spooky and creepy. Also $5.99. Moving on over, we have more of our fortune telling things. These are things my mom would probably really like a lot of. This is a theme they have every year that I've noticed. Seek all, sees all, knows all. Psychic fortunes. Little dragon on a skull and a raven. And then you of course have all these different little skulls, creepy crawlies. More signs. I do really like that. What's I say? Welcome, scaredy cats. Tricks and treats. Happy Halloween. October 31st. A couple things here. These I am in love with, and I just I saw these online. They are. Oh, focus! Come on, you can do it. $19.99 each, and they are a male and a female bust. These would look fantastic in my Haunted Mansion section. I think they would go very well with the theming. And then up here, you have a couple or a few jars, little potions. This one is not priced, which is brew. Snake Venom. This, oh, hold on, hold on. $12.99 for that one. And then you have Love Potion number nine. Also $12.99. And then some creepy little skeleton fairies. Not my cup of tea, but I'm sure someone would like them. $16.99. And then these 
bulky books. I would like to find something close to that. Maybe not this style, because I am looking more for witching, the witching hallway or the witching hour hallway in more of the classic Halloween style. But if this kind of stuff is your, to your liking, Michael's 25% off for right now. Okay, moving on over to the next aisle, we have a couple things that have definitely caught my eye. I have really fallen in love with this deer skull. It has got some intricate designs etched into the forehead of the skull. It is, let me see what price, $24.99 for this. That is a very good price. It's got some weight to it. As I am a lover of Wendigos in mythology, I think that is a very nice decoration. And then we've got your classic changing portraits. You have very cute twins, very demonic twins. Angry? Well, okay, that's cool. So if I hold it there and go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> I like that. These are $5.99 and it's just a very cheap bendy plastic. And then you have another one. I have always loved the style of the gentleman who turns into Two-Face. And it's very trippy as where I'm standing. He's not changing, but on my phone he is. That is weird. Then up here you have when witches go riding and black cats are seen blank tis blank days till halloween i love that that is very nice a little bit too small for me if it were bigger i'd be happier that's what she said 14.99 for that little sign and you have a wooden hocus pocus sign i really like this hocus pocus part is or the pocus part is made of wood and then the hocus part is made of these little uh burlap kind of feeling material that is $16.99 and then this right here I really like witch's lair apothecary I don't know I'm afraid to pull that back because it's stuck behind these and I see that going poorly and I don't want to move everything behind but I'm gonna guess that's probably about $29.99 right there do you dare enter Witch's Lair? Those are cool. I do really like this, but I'm gonna check Target, see if we can find something a little, little, I don't know. I may come back and get this. $19.99, it says Witch's Brew. That would be good to have some candy in our hallway just for, you know, if you're walking by. I do really like these. They are $19.99, and I like them because you can put something in there, so that would be good to have some flowers and fake flowers. And then you have Welcome, Enter at Your Own Risk. It's another wooden sign. That is $19.99. I really do like that. That's nice. And then here, this is where they lose me. It looks really cool, right? And then you realize it's a gummy snake. It's just a rubber snake attached to this, and that throws me off. Do you like Halloween pillows? If so, this is the end cap for you. I do definitely love that bison skull or cow skull. Bunch of hocus pocus. Happy Halloween. This has got some, like, bedazzle on it. That's definitely not a fan of mine, but I'm pretty sure Haley would love that. Boo to you. The Curiosity Shop, established 1868, rare objects and oddities, all things strange and exotic. I do like that pillow, that is nice. But we are not done yet. We have one more aisle to go. If we check out, actually we have two more aisles. Some, another pillow, Happy Halloween, I do like that. And then we have some of these assorted little plates that you can hang on the bi-level uh, racks. Those are cool little skull. They used to have these in the Bystel style as well. That one was $18.99, or this is $8.99 per plate, done by Ashland. Unfortunately, the Bystel plates are not here this year, or else I would definitely be buying some of those up. 
we're gonna go over to the next aisle as to avoid getting in the way we have our party supplies anything you guys want for your halloween parties this year if you are having them it is highly advised that you probably stay safe this year and maybe just have one or two people over but if you guys decide you want to have some friends over have a spooky movie night maybe have some popcorn these little buckets would be fantastic 5.99 for this whole set and it comes with one two three four five six seven eight buckets so if you and the ghoul friend want to have a, a movie night this halloween or this spooky october these here would be fantastic moving on down we have some baking trays that are skulls these are really cool made by Nordicware. I'm looking for the price. I am not seeing a price, unfortunately. It's probably right in front of my face, but I'm not seeing it. And then next to that, we have brain cakelet molds. Definitely not a fan of this one. I definitely love the skull more, and I apologize for the awkward angle, but I'm just trying to find where the price would be on these course up here we have some little treat bags these would be good especially for what we're doing at the house this year we're going to be doing a hidden mickey game for the kids if they can find multiple hidden mickeys throughout the yard they get a prize and of course it's going to be just about every kid that comes through but these would be good to have as little as the extra gift prize these little 9.99 and i do really like the old style for these Over here, just your basic plates. These tiny little hard, they're cardboard or a type of paper, but they are definitely a, a heavy duty. $2.99 for one of those, that is nice. I do like that. And then plastic cups with little straws that twirl up. That is, woo, $6.99 for that, that is cute. If you wanna go out for the day and get Get your drink on, the spooky drink on. More pumpkin buckets, or more little plastic paper, whatever. And then you have your table runners. I'm in the process of looking for a Haunted Mansion themed table runner. If I can find one with the uh, the material, like uh, I'm trying to think of the name, the, the wallpaper for that, that would be great. And then a two piece salad tossing thing. Servers, little skeleton hand servers, those are cute for $6.99 and then you have these which I really like those trick or treat and they are fabric and they hang from either side of your door that is nice that would look really good out there in the, in the uh, front yard okay so that was our Michael's trip and uh, as I said in the video I am thoroughly impressed with their theming this year I love well, I mean I'm impressed every year um, they do a lot of witch-based items, a lot of apothecary stuff every year. So it wasn't really surprising to see some of it, but the Bystol Old Classic Halloween decorations I fell in love with. And of course, I did pick quite a few up. And I got one that wasn't actually on the shelf, which is really cool. And I, I have to say, the Michael staff at this particular location, absolutely amazing. Uh, shout out to the, uh, unfortunately I didn't get your name, but shout out to the girl who rang me out. I told her she uh, had made a comment about all this stuff and I'm, I told her, I, you know, I do a YouTube channel and she asked for the, uh, the channel. So if you're watching this, I so apologize. I didn't catch your name. Go ahead and put it in the comments, please. And, uh, thank you so much for, um, showing interest. I apologize for so many ums, guys. But thank you for showing interest. It means a lot. As you can see, the channel is very early on in stages of growing. Uh, I'm really hoping we can pick up more subscribers this year. We didn't do anything for the house last year, unfortunately, video-wise, because things just didn't play out that way. But I'm hoping this year we'll definitely be able to do that. So thank you. Cheers to them. Lovely ladies. Every one of them were amazing. Uh, especially the uh, the manager. I'm assuming it was a manager. She had a nice little fancy headset on uh, who 
found this particular item for me. So I'm very excited to show that at the end of the video when we do the haul. But uh, we have 45 minutes before I have to go pick up the ghoul friend. So let's go ahead and go to our next location, which will be Spirit Halloween, and hopefully get lucky, find some Haunted Mansion stuff, maybe find a Hocus Pocus mug for her, because unfortunately it got put in the, um, the washing machine, and that's not supposed to happen. So she's had that the whole time, and now we, uh, we unfortunately destroyed that. So we, we're going to have to replace it. So onward the spirit. Ah, damn, why is pumpkin spice so good? Nobody can know that I drink pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Basic white girl. Guy. Basic white guy. Pretty fly for a basic white guy with his pumpkin spice. Nobody's going to know that I drank this. Not a soul. Do you ever have that feeling when you are gone for so long, like you go on vacation and you enjoy the vacation for a while, but then when you come home, you're just so happy. It's like, I don't know, you're home. I've got that feeling right now. Okay, well, here we are, spirit. Now... Of course, the first things I always do when I come to a Spirit Halloween is I go straight for the Hocus, uh, Hocus, well, yes, the Hocus Pocus stuff over here, but the Nightmare Before Christmas, and this year, finally, Haunted Mansion. This makes me a happy ghoul right here. So, this year, they have the Singing Bust Mug. I do not have this one yet. It is $9.99. And I apologize if you hear conversations outside. I cannot control that. And this year they have a $9.99 drinking turbis style thing, which is really cool. It has all your special favorite guys and characters from the mansion. Even the ballroom ghost. And then in the background you've got the shooting ghost. That's cool. Constance Hatchaway. A knight. And this guy, who we're actually going to try and build this year for the front yard. And for anybody who is creating a spooky themed kitchen, you are set for life, or your afterlife anyway. We have wall-to-wall -wall creeps towel, and then haunted mansion towel. These are all the same towel, they just seem to have placed them around for, uh, for uh, you know, filling it up. These are... $14.99 and I did buy an item from a Spirit Halloween prior to this one. Uh, I've only found it there, but I will show that when we show the haul. Um, Hocus Pocus wise, we don't have very much. However, they do have this and I've been trying to find this. It's it's a it's a statue. It's It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it says for, uh, from the movie Disney's Hocus Pocus. It is $26.99, which has been unfortunate. I was hoping to be a little bit cheaper, but with this much weight, and unfortunately, I see one of these arms just breaking off, but you have uh, was that? You have Winnie, Mary, and Sarah. Mary doesn't really, or Mary and, I'm a little confused. I feel like Winnie should be here and then Sarah and Mary. But Mary or Winnie doesn't even have her normal hairstyle. So it's a little weird. I'm not sure what's going on with this particular themed statue. But it is great coming out of a cauldron. And with the Hocus Pocus sequel coming out on Disney Plus, I believe, this would be a really good item to have or add to your spooky collection. Okay, and as usual, you have your assortment of fog machines, lights all your fancy pants stuff over here for you technically savvy people and usually I don't record or speak over recordings but with the music being so quiet in this particular building today I feel like I can go ahead and talk more uh, there should still be music added onto the back but 
For those of you who have not been to your local spirit yet, the theme this year is research and development kind of factory style. And over here they have some really cool designs of the Spirit Halloween factory. And this is Grouchy the Clown, I'm guessing. And then an animatronic that I've really been wanting to get but can't find now is Cerberus. I'm sure I can get him online. He's quite expensive, but he is cool. And he blows smoke out of his mouth. Mouths, plural. And then you have your spotlights, little ghosts, firelights, which I like. And then they have peepin' peepers. Battery operated though, unfortunately. Fog machine, more lights, a mist maker with LED, which is really, how much is that? That is cool. That is $19.99 for that. A black light steady glow light bulb. Black light steady glow strobe lights. I'm not gonna use that one because I don't wanna possibly do anything to somebody. And then some really cool looking fog machines. 400 watt fog machine. And of course they have all their skeletons. All the skeletons in their closets, or in this case out of their closets. The merman skeleton, he's here just about every year. Tinier Skeletons, that is their factory whistle. We'll take a look at some of the stuff over there. More little dangling skeletons, unfortunately this guy's missing an arm. Some skeleton monkeys, one who is also missing an arm. And shark skull, which I mean, usually technically doesn't exist at all since sharks don't have bones, but as someone who's been playing Maneater on PlayStation, I, uh, I do love that. And of course, no Halloween is Halloween without a, a, a some type of skull with a, a deer or a ram, something like that. Perfect. Actually, I feel like that would go much better right there on a little skull. And then we have our lanterns. Zombie arm pathway maker markers. Eh, I don't really care for the sounds. We have a couple animatronics back there, but they do are not working at the moment. We have some more odds and ends. Some the fake spider aisle. This one does something. Yeah, it sounds like a diesel truck turning on. And of course, some tape, fresh grave tape, warning tape, biohazard tape, more warning tape, some more spiders, hand grabbing mechanism. Now that is interesting. That is cool. Uh, deluxe swinging mechanisms for any of your hanging items. A door opening mechanism. Multi-prop remote. And a in a dropping mechanism. Now that is interesting. Great surprise, scares. Let the pop, pop. Let the pop drop. And then your zombie stakes, stake hands, hand stakes. Over here we've got some tombstones. And of course every year they have a decent selection. <coughs> Excuse me. I definitely love the little well, these are $9.99, which is not bad at all for that. I may, I'm debating on either getting one of those or my, or that Haunted Mansion mug. And of course, I, I have to turn around and get a little bit of a jump scare because I didn't realize that guy is just peeking through there. That is creepy. And then down here, something that we've really been considering getting is a Billy Butcherson Tombstone from Hocus Pocus. This particular item is $29.99 and it is not styrofoam like all the others. It is kind of a hollow hard plastic. It's definitely going to be something I prefer in my tombstones instead of the styrofoam 
due to the fact that Ohio, Ohio weather can switch at the blink of an eye and your styrofoam tombstones will go down the street like mine have every year. But with that, and it even comes with some good sized stakes, it will, should not go anywhere. And then if we flip over here, we have some more tombstones. We have our tinier ones, which I just looked at. Some little itty bitty ones for $4.99. That'd be good for a small yard or if you have a small little spot on a porch for an apartment, that'd be good as I did. And then some other ones. And then this one here actually looks like it is battery operated. It is, it does not light up at the moment. You have to do it, but it has little spots for candles that will light up and that is $14.99. These are all of the tombstones. One of the themes this year for spirit, sir spirit, what are they saying for spirit, is Beetlejuice. Of course we have more things coming and certain spirits have had more than others, but this one has got these big old plastic, like the Billy Butcherson tombstone, a hard plastic one. That is the Here Lies Beetlejuice and then this lights up, has a creepy little imp hanging up on top. That looks really cool. I do love this. Uh, we They do have a Beetlejuice animatronic. Not here, unfortunately. That is $40. And unfortunately, it's battery operated. So, and I just realized that this guy actually comes with wings that attach right in the back there. So I actually feel that this is worth the 40 bucks, but I don't like that it's battery operated because I don't want to constantly have to keep reminding myself to go out and do that. But for $40, that is a very interesting tombstone. I love that. That would go great in your yard. They even have Beetlejuice Monopoly. And over here we have these creepy little, kind of remind you of the pumpkins that you get, little ceramic pumpkins that light up, except they are the characters, the wife, the husband, and the shrunken head guy. They usually have, if I can get this turned on, she lights up. Unfortunately, there's no light going to the eyes, which is a little odd, but they go through the, uh, through that. Oh, let me turn that off. I'm doing it with a pinky here. Now it's difficult. Sorry, sweetheart. These little guys are, are, let's see here. Oh, $14.99. I apologize. That part of the movie always freaked me out. And then we have the husband in his little bird style. It's he also lights up. This particular one is flickering a little bit, which actually looks really cool. Also, same price, pardon me, and the shrunken head guy. Also something that creeped me out. He lights up as well. He actually has a really good light in him. Lights up on the sides. I think the more I turn it, he also has a little bit of flicker. That's cool. They also have the uh, sandworm. I've also heard it called land shark, but I don't know why. They also have a sandworm, but he's not here right now. Unfortunately, he is busy. Uh, we, of course, have our doormats every year. Each theme gets its own doormat. Beetle just has a pretty cool one saying it's showtime. And if you are interested in a Beetle Juice doormat, they are $21.99. Our window cleans. I'm actually looking for the Ghostbusters window cleans myself. More of the tombstones, a sandworm door cover, and a Beetlejuice mug. Now, Spirit goes all out every single year with their mugs. I am never disappointed with their mugs. This one is $14.99, so it's more expensive than the Haunted Mansion mug. Fantastic. I love this. Of course, we have a little extra theming for other things here. Pennywise, the dancing clown, performs every 27 years. And of course, Pennywise blankets. More merchandise coming soon. Ouija boards, though I highly advise against them. Random costume sections. I'm not gonna go through every costume here. We will be here forever. Uh, bore over here to the classic horror theming genre. We've got trick-or-treat pillow. 
Pennywise mug, an Exorcist drinking cup, which is really cool. Not my favorite movie, but I do like that. A Krampus mug, which unfortunately has got a chip. And more Pennywise mugs, which would make the dad happy. Michael Myers mug. And horror socks. Who does not love some horror socks? We have Annabelle, Conjuring, Exorcist, Pennywise, Tim Curry Pennywise, Jason, Freddy, and uh, the current Pennywise, uh, Bill Skarsgård. Why we don't have Michael, I don't know. But they do have more socks over there. I'm hoping to either find some Haunted Mansion or Michael Myers socks over there. Because Michael Myers is my favorite slasher character. So, let's go check out other things. Okay, so, checking out small socks and big socks. Of course, we have Sesame Street video games. They always have Fallout things just about every year, which is cool. We got themed socks and just generic spirit socks, which is awesome. They have some really cool looking Beetlejuice ones with the Beetlejuice snake. These will set you back $7.99. It comes with two pairs. Ghosts with the most. I always keep forgetting that Beetlejuice is technically a ghost. Nightmare Before Christmas socks, which the ghoul friend would definitely love. I know every time we go, every time we come here, ooh, $16.99 for those. She always eyeballs those every time we come here. So this year we're making spooky baskets for each other. It is a fantastic idea to do with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or even just your friends. It's a great idea because, well, who doesn't love receiving presents on Halloween? And a spooky basket is where it's at. Last year, I loaded Haley's up with... I don't see where they're at. They have like these little plastic pumpkin pails. Oh, right here. I got one of these last year and they're they're not badly priced. This one's $3.99. I got her one of these and I loaded it up with a bunch of little goodies, candy, um, a little makeup mirror that said uh, something from Hocus Pocus. Uh, this year, I am, I'm, I'm kind of in the air on what I'm going to load it up with. I don't want to do the same things. But it's always a good idea. We both work in a vet clinic, so I may get her, not this particular one, but I may get her a pen that she can take to work with her just to have some fun with it. I definitely need a pen myself. Oh, I know this is really random, but for a hollow looking out skull, if I'm even focusing, that is an actually pretty cool looking skull. Twelve ninety nine. Huh. That is pretty realistic. So if you go towards the front checkout here, and I haven't even gotten to look at the animatronics yet. We've got our window clings, more socks. Can't go wrong with socks, people. Unfortunately, no Haunted Mansion. But, you know, more Beetlejuice with the sandworm. More Pennywise, those are actually really cool looking. I always hate getting socks like this because when I put them on, their faces get distorted and they look very strange when I put them on nerd socks literally more window cleans bloody hand cleans footprints i'm actually in the process of looking for a rug that when you step on it with wet feet makes it look like blood i'm going to get that put it in the bathroom and see how long it takes someone to freak out some magnets definitely love this pennywise magnet looking through the grate for anybody who loves hand sanitizer there you go We've got definitely quite a few choices. Lanyards. I saw a Haunted Mansion lanyard at one point. Unfortunately, I did not snag it, and I missed out. So if you guys find one, go ahead and do that. More of your car magnets, stickers, get in loser with a Grim Reaper. That's funny. I do love these. I'm more for the, the magnets than I am the stickers. I do love that, but stickers don't tend to last very long on my car for some reason. So, if you find any of these that you like, have at it. Goofy little novelties. Funny. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan, they have some really cool looking little collector bag clips. If you feel like 
blowing $300 on trying to find the one that you want, or you can be like me and somehow get the one thing that I wanted, but you get your dragon, an owlbear, a demogorgon, demogorgon? I think it is the demogorgon. Um, I'm guessing a necromancer, a beholder, and then uh, whatever the races are for Dungeons and Dragons. Over here, if you are a fan of mugs, you are in luck. I've gotten lucky a couple times. Unfortunately, they don't have my Ghostbusters mug that I need to replace. And they don't have the Hocus Pocus mug that we're trying to replace, which is unfortunate. But, of course, got a lot of Baby Yoda, who is going to be popular until the end of time. Stitch, Annabelle. This one is very interesting as we just got back from Disney, so the Disney hype never ends for us. But a villain's mug. All the women in Disney, villain-wise. It's really cool. But speaking of mugs, I am thinking about this just happened to catch my eye. It is a Haunted Mansion keychain of the singing bust. That is awesome for $9.99. That's a bit pricey for a keychain, but that is really cool. Unfortunately, I, I have quite too many keychains as it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of overloaded with keychains, but those are cool. I do like those. They have some pens. If they had a Haunted Mansion pen, I would definitely be getting it. That would do me some good at work. And then more goofy novelties. These plastic shot glasses, which I do like. I just wish they were actual glass. They're a dollar, so I mean, you can't really complain. But I am thinking about getting some of this stuff for our goodie bags this year for the kids. For Halloween, we are going to be doing pre-wrapped candy bags that are, of course, we're going to be making with washed hands and gloved hands. But those will be really cool for the kids. That's what we did last year, and parents were very happy with it. So, let us go check out the animatronics. It is so weird being here at 10.45 in the morning because there's nobody here. Usually there's kids running around screaming and people talking, and there's just nobody. This is awesome perfect time for anybody wanting to do recording of Halloween merchandise. But anyway, I should have done this when I walked in, but I didn't. I definitely want to get a picture of that. But there is the big guy, Mr. Howley. Mr. Howell? I think it's Mr. Howley. I'm not sure. He is awesome. And then we have... Get it, get it, do it. <laughs> That is the Hauntress, I believe. It is an interesting little prop. Definitely cool if you want to scare the ever-living hell out of one of your family members around the hallway. Uh, we are supposed to be put together a little bit more. He's a little wobbly. But I do love this prop. It is awesome. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And that is over there. This guy, I don't think, is working at the moment because every time we come in, no, he's not plugged. Oh! Well, his, <coughs> his audio works. Okay. That is interesting. But the Hauntress is right over here. And they also have one of these, I don't remember what store it is, but it's a Scream from Ghostface. Or, wait, Ghostface from Scream, pardon me. This ghost here is $129.99. And she, he haunts from sides and will pop out as you walk by. Stands about five foot four, so pretty cool. Moving back over to here, we have, of course, Mr. Howley here. I do... oh, oh. Mr. Howley, everywhere I go, uh, each spirit has one that is in a different condition. This one is probably the most 
if I can get him to work. Okay. Well, this one is not wanting to turn on, unfortunately. But this one is probably the biggest and of werewolf animatronics I've seen all year and possibly the best. Um, they have one at Menards that I'm in love with that is constantly moving. I love it. And then working over here is, of course, our staked zombie. He's here every year that I've noticed. He is awesome. And they even tell you about the difference like props and what you can get here. Countdown clock, entrance columns. I think this tells you how much everything is if you wanted to recreate this style yourself at a Halloween party or whatnot. But you can tell there's a lot of animatronics that are supposed to be out but are not at the moment. I'm hoping that they put more out as it is only the beginning of September. But let's, eh, why not? Let's walk through. There he is. Mr. Howell is his name. And I'm not sure how much he'll set you back. Something tells me quite a lot. He is going to set you back a whopping $299. He is very expensive, but probably very worth it. If I can get him back in there. Fortunately, I do need to hurry because I do have to get out and go pick up the ghoul friend. You have Buzzsaw, who I have not seen him out. I'm surprised he's not out on display yet. The sitting scarecrow, who jumps up and scares people every year. I think I'm going to come back and get one of these cups, though. I do really want one. I would love to get some towels if me and Haley had the apartment. That would be cool. And that mug. I do love the singing bust mug. But I think this is going to do it for now with our spirit trip. And, of course, if I find another spirit with more stuff, we will come back. But in the meantime, we should probably go pick her up. Let's go. Thank you.